there! Welcome to another vlog! Uh, thank you so much for all the support and love on my first vlog. I, uh, you know, like I said, still learning this whole process and uh, learning how to edit and everything. Uh, and uh, so a lot of things I could improve on I was watching on the previous one. So I'm excited to keep learning and making these better and better. <laughs> Uh, this week, I am preparing for my next show, which is TechoCon in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, it's my first out-of-state show, so I got all my sales tax, I got all everything I need to do for that. Um, but I'm nervous and I'm excited, uh, and uh, I, I have about 48 hours <laughs> to get everything done and packed and ready to go. So um, that's kind of, that's, that's the madness of this week. So one of the things is that I am, um, I've changed up my branding a little bit from my previous show uh, with uh, Art by the Falls. I was still under my older name, which is Thistlebury, um, which I love. And this is very much, uh, I still very much a part of what I do, but I realized it wasn't everything that I do. So um, my booth and tables now are going to have a section for Thistlebury, but I'm going to kind of move on to using my, just my full name, um, which actually you'll see, you've probably already seen it in the intro, the little icon guy. Um, I've got my banners now that have my name and my little character. His name is actually, his name is Bor. He's a uh, short for Borislav. He's a little, <laughs> he's kind of based on a current from uh, um, Slovenia. Uh, my family is uh, half Slovenian, so kind of draw on that a bit of some of my pieces, you can tell. Um, but I just, I was drawing this little mascot for myself and uh, it started to really look like a current. He's not everything that a current has, but he's he's kind of close. <laughs> but um, yeah, I like him a lot. He's cute and uh, he's kind of grumpy and I think it's, it's fun. So I have him and I have my name and Haley Mortensen illustration. So we're gonna go with that because um, I have a lot of projects I want to do, a lot of ways I want to take my business, and the Thistlebury, while very much important, um, is, you know, like I said, part of it. So the pieces that I make for Thistlebury will have their own section, and then the art prints and originals and all that stuff will have their own purpose and place. So that's where that comes from. So I got a banner made for my the back of my booth. Um, and then I also had from Rewind, which if you know their stuff, they're excellent. They're a small business and um, they print these beautiful table runners. So I had it printed on that as well um, to match. So, um, and I also got a backdrop, uh, like a photography backdrop for, um, to put some prints on. And so changing up my whole, <laughs> my whole, uh, display. I don't really have time to do a mock-up, so we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see how this goes. You know, it's, it'll be good. It'll be good. Uh, for the last show, I, um, I did quite a bit of prep, so this time I don't really need to. Uh, aside from a couple of new pieces, which I'll share, um, and, uh, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to be working on that quite a bit, um, over the last little, <laughs> little bit of time that I have, but, um, I think it'll be good. I think it'll be fun. And I'm going with some friends, my other friend, uh, um, friend Brenda who runs Fox Glove Lane. She makes beautiful, beautiful fairy wings, um, that are just incredible. I'm going to share them because, oh my gosh, they're amazing. And I'm so excited to be bending with her. Um, unfortunately our tables aren't near each other, but that's okay. We're gonna hang out and, um, and we'll go together. And then Crystal will be back with me, helping me run my booth so I can have breaks. <laughs> Cause the convention is three days. So it's, uh, it's nice to have uh, a booth assistant so that I, you know, I can wander the convention, take a look at some of the other artists, um, which I'll share of course in my video. Um, but yeah, so here's hoping. Um, but yeah, my if you 
if you're new here and you haven't seen my other video. Um, my name is Haley Mortensen. I am an illustrator and designer and um, from the Cleveland area. Um, and I do art shows and sell my work online and in person, like I said, doing art shows. So it should be, should be good. So enjoy. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> The other new item I have for this show is this 11 by 14 uh, print of my little kitchen dragon. Um, he's, he's just making some food and there's a little guy down here. And one of my favorite things to do is to draw like monsters in like really normal everyday mundane situations. <laughs> That's like, I think if, if I could have a favorite thing to draw it would be that. So um, so yeah I've got I've got him and kind of doing his thing and uh, I'm excited that the, it looked, it came out really well in this larger size. So especially having a, a backdrop now, um, having larger prints, I think will have more of a visual um, impact. So yeah, hopefully it does well. <laughs> see what you don't see is Haley's lounging in a bar lounger with a mojito while I do all of the work. Also, if any of you, has some suggestions as to how we can make this process go faster or if I can make my technique any better. Feel free to write it on the back of a $20 bill. And just mail it to us. I'm sure I'll give deep consideration. Then he went and lost his head, spoiled his constitution. We haul away, haul away, Joe. But I am currently wearing my very comfortable sushi pants and tons and what do you get another day older and deeper in debt say Peter don't you call me cause I can go I owe my soul to the company store what are you talking about? nothing <laughs> mind your own business hey this is between me and your viewers uh -huh. hey today's setup day so um I cannot believe what has been, like, what I've gotten done in the last, like, two days. But we're pretty much, we're done, packed. I've got everything ready to go. I got my new back, or, <laughs> backdrop. And then all of my product, and my all my stuff packed for the weekend. Um, yeah, I, I think... I think it's gonna be good. Um, my friend Erin is on her way here, and then we are going to make the trek to Pittsburgh. And, oh, I got, I got a haircut. <laughs> so today's set up, like I said. <laughs> um, but we're going, um, set up today is at four. So I have a loading dock spot that I accidentally signed up for. So I can actually bring my stuff up to, um, up to the, the, a showroom so that I can just go and set up hopefully quickly but I'll be sure to share uh, the process of that and then the booth the way it looks when it's done um, and then yeah so here we go <laughs> Five, five, five and a quarter hours for me. Wow, that was, yeah, it was only two for us, but there were like an hour of driving around the city trying to find, um, trying to find parking. Find parking. Yeah, yeah, but that yeah, was a long day for you, and then trying to find parking. Find parking. Yeah. You, you broke the ice for me. Yeah, I, yeah. You, were, you told me where to come. So yeah. I didn't have to drive for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> But this is one of my best friends. She has a table this weekend as well, and I'll show you her stuff. It's really cool. So, <laughs> yeah, let's go! <laughs>
it's day one of the show. We got partially set up yesterday, um, and well, mostly set up yesterday. And then, uh, so now we're gonna go um, uh, get finished setting up for the day and uh, get going. And that's, everything officially starts at 9.30. There's a like an hour um, session before it opens up to the public for um, VIPs. So they get like a special shopping, um, special shopping time so <laughs> but yeah so i'm i'm all just uh, uh. <laughs> brenda and forest basket and her their monet prints their monet prints <laughs> i can talk <laughs> beautiful i have crystal and alice and the pirates is it on video yeah <laughs> Gorgeous. Kaylee looking fabulous in her innocent world print. I'm not entirely <laughs> sure of what the name of it is, but it is Snow White. <laughs> something new especially if I'm traveling to conventions that's the beautiful crystal <laughs> maybe I don't wait for right now <laughs> so I don't have my racks but I have my new backdrop and all of the um, prints in the back there <laughs> and my new sign um, and then <laughs> my, new, my new signage and then um, uh, the uh, magnets I have holding up each print are awesome I'm so excited about that um, and then I have my 8x10s here, 8x8s here, da, 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 da. <laughs> so each of them, uh, I'm just using plate, like dish racks, um, and they're actually working out really well, so people can kind of flip through them and pull them out and look at them and, you know, all that. Um, and then I've moved all of my little Thistleberry characters for the sake of space and moved them into here, and then that way you can flip through and find a character. Um, and then I, this is my whole Thistleberry display. Because I have my my main signage and then now I've got my section for Thistleberry like I talked about earlier. Today we have a new product and it's um, these beautiful bags and wallets that I had made for my booth. And oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. She did such a great job um, like honoring my characters and um, are all available um but yeah that's the that's the booth and i think it'll go well today and hopefully um hopefully i'll have good sales
cool. And like I'm writing in a book. Look at this number. Numbers? Yeah, that's numbers. That's numbers. Oh yeah. Hello. We have numbers. Yeah. So uh, currently just heading to the um, to the hall and we're uh, just about we're actually running a little late but um, we're going to run to the hall they open at 10 today for VIP members and then um, I think 11 for the for the rest of the convention so that's exciting um, I have to do a little bit of um, reorganizing um, and then uh, I guess we're gonna go from there and hopefully it'll be a good day of sales <laughs> So this is my outfit for today. All whale. So I'm so excited. It's so cute. My friend um, Brenda, who was here with her store, made this, and she has um, she made the little whale, and then she made me <laughs> see if I can do it. A little whale shirt bag. <laughs> so I had to put a little outfit together. So I have a beret. Oh, I'm not very good at this. How do people do this? Um, and then I've got little earrings and little whale um, pins here and then yeah so I'm excited I think it looks really fun <laughs> so this is a little look display a little bit. I originally had them all in this and then I moved them up and around so that worked out a lot better. And then uh, added some more green cards because I sold out of my recipe prints and uh, the weekly platters. So that was pretty good. The view from behind, nothing exciting.
go for day three. Let's go. <laughs> yesterday, uh, so I didn't really end yesterday's vlog, but um, it was great. Yesterday was great. I blew my, it blew my expectations <laughs> for the day, honestly. Um, people were pretty excited about the work and uh, um, it went pretty well. And I'm, I'm it's always just really, really cool. <laughs> people respond well to your work. So, um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm excited for today. Today's the last day. We already got everything, all the room, uh, all of our stuff out of the room and packed up and everything. And uh, so now we're just getting ready to go. Uh, right now is, it's open for VIP uh, admission. And then after that, the public can come in and then it's it's crazy bonkers to that. So yeah, all right, let's go. So that was my that was my techo vlog for this year. Um, I had a great time. Um, I have this little adorable little look, he's so cute. It's a little uh, leaf clip that I got from one of the artists in the artist alley um, slash vendor exhibit hall. Um, and I'll share those at, at the end because I have a couple other things that I got from the. Um, from the artist alley and the uh, vendors area and everything so i'll do a little haul in a second um but uh yeah it was a good show it was a really good show i i'm always so nervous to take my work to a new place to a new venue um anime conventions like i said are are, are really uh fresh they're newer for me so um, I'm always very nervous about like how that's gonna go and how um, just, yeah, the, the general response to my work is always kind of terrifying, but this, uh, this was great. This was really great. I, I loved it. The people were so nice uh, the, from the event staff all the way, you know, to the artists, to the attendees. Um, the overall response to my work was really, really good. <laughs> so um, just, I feel overall very, very uh, positive about this event and I would recommend it to really anyone. Um, it's, it's great, you gotta check it out. Um, and if you're an artist, definitely sign up for their artist alley. Um, after everything was set up, it was um, just a pretty smooth weekend. A uh, really, really long days. <laughs> by the time we, um, by the time we finished up, uh, at the end of the day, all we really wanted to do was go back to the room and go to sleep, have some food, and then go to sleep. Um, shower too, because oh my gosh, it was so warm in there. Um, you know, just being in the middle of summer. Um, but uh, I think next year, one of my big things is I really, really, really do want to actually go to the convention. Uh, this is probably the first time I, I went to a convention and I, I didn't really get to attend much of it. So um, the, uh, the, the cosplayer and 
convention goer part of me was like, I had to go. So next time, uh, next year, definitely gonna make more time or force myself when I'm so tired <laughs> to go to like a panel or something just to, just to see the rest because it's really, it looked amazing. Um, but we were, we were pretty much in the exhibit, the hall the whole time. Um, but it was, it was worth it. It was fun. Um, and yeah, I, I beat all of my, my sales goals that I had set for myself. Um, and then just also, um, just got to experiment with a new layout too, which was really cool. Uh, definitely have some thoughts on improvements again of what I'd like to do with my setup. Um, and how, you know, what worked, what didn't. I found myself kind of tweaking throughout the weekend. I like move, um, move stuff around and move our prints around, see what works, what doesn't. Uh, and uh, so yeah, next, moving forward, I think I'll, I'll probably um, make a couple more adjustments. Um, I really, I really loved uh, being able to meet everybody and I loved interacting with um, everyone who came up to my table. Oh my gosh, everybody was so nice. I actually got like a, like little presents and like stickers and, and gifts and people were just so sweet. And um, I, I just loved meeting all of you. And so if you're watching, thank you for coming to my table. <laughs> thank you for visiting. You made my weekend. But yeah, I thought I'd share a little bit of a haul because I got some stuff. Okay, so the first thing I have was from my neighbor, Tiffany Gonzalez Art. Oh my gosh, Tiffany was so nice. Um, it was just such a joy to be next to her. And she makes these beautiful uh, pins of different weapons. And uh, this one is, oh, I just couldn't believe how cute that was. So I actually got it for my husband. Um, we used to work at a medieval fair and we did a stage combat and uh, he has more years on it than I do, but he has a battle axe like this and it's so cool. So I got this for him. Next, I got this little ninja who also has an axe. <laughs> There's a theme, but oh my gosh, how cute. Uh, this was from Ariel Sakula. Um, she had a table across, uh, just across the aisle from me. So I was staring at these all, um, all uh, weekend and they she had different ones with like different little accessories but I had to pick this one up too and next I have these beautiful pins from uh, Cure Seal uh, she had a whole row of these matte finished pins um, of different uh, different shows, different fandoms. Um, of course, I had to pick up the Overgo the Garden Wall ones because I'm such a fan of this show and I very rarely find merch for it. But I also just, uh, can we just appreciate this packaging and the layout and everything? Oh my gosh, I'm blown away by it. I actually really want to get the rest of her pin packs and I don't know, like frame them or something because it's just so beautiful. Next is Laura of Laura Illustrates. She does this, these beautiful little animal creations. Um, all of her work is just so gorgeous with these color palettes, this really eye popping style. Um, I pop <laughs> eye catching style, um, but it's it's really cute. Um, I just I'm always I've been so smitten with her work since I vended uh, in the artist alley with her at um, OhioCon. She was I found her there, and um, I, I bought one of her other prints too. And I was so excited to be in uh, the artist alley again with her for Teco. So oh my gosh, I love these. This is a little shaky charm. It's one of her latest additions to her collection of items. She has a pelican and the shaky charm, as well as a purse, like a coin purse. And oh my gosh, I'm I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So I had to have these. <laughs> and then probably my my biggest purchase of this week was this Eda bag from Blush Sprout. Oh my god. I'm so excited. It's so beautiful. Was, oh, I still have her business card in here. She does such amazing uh, work. And I love, I've been wanting one of her Eda bags for a really long time. Um, and it has a little, like, lily pad, little details here. Oh my gosh. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with Anita ba what Eda bags are, um, they're these little bags. They have um, this little compartment. Oh, there's a little zipper here. <laughs> Where is it? Um, 
there's a, a little addition here and you can put pins on these um, on these uh, little inserts here and then that way they're protected so um, you can show off your fan knobs or just a really really cute pins um, and that way they're protected and they look adorable uh, she has these bags in different colors and I just I've had my eye on this one for quite a while because um, I have a lot of fish pins and like marine life pins and so I want I've been looking for like a cute bag to display them so no I have him he's so cute oh. and then um, uh, along with my adorable little Along with my adorable little pin, oh, look how cute this is. It's a little hair pin. I was wearing it earlier, yeah. But um, I got this from Candy Wrap Island, and she makes these beautiful creations. Look at him. He's a little keychain. I actually, I have a friend um, who's very sick right now, and uh, I wanted to make her a, uh, a little, she loves squirrels, so I wanted to make her a box of squirrels. So I've been trying to collect squirrel items. Katie, if you're, if you're watching, it's, it's a surprise. Hopefully, hopefully you're not watching it. And I can give this to you before you see this, but, um, so I got her a squirrel and then I got this little gotcha. I don't want to open it cause it's again, a present, but <laughs> it's, a it's a squirrel driving a tank and it's, it's incredible. So, um, if any of you have any leads on cute squirrel items, please send them my way. Um, but uh, they got this out of a gotcha machine. They had a whole, uh, set of gotcha machines and, um, gotcha are, if you're not familiar, are these, um, they're like, um, they're kind of like they're little coin machines in Japan that have these just incredible little prizes that you can win and uh, extremely detailed. I'm always blown away by the, the detail in them, um, but I saw this one and I knew I had to get it for Katie. Um, see his little tank battling her illness, fighting it. I got this for my son. They, there was another gotcha machine that was randomly selling Curious George merch. <laughs> Maybe it's a little, little George. Ah. <laughs> so I, I knew I had to get that for, for my son because, oh my gosh. I also got him, um, another keychain of uh, Char uh, Charmander. Um, and it's a little perler art Charmander figurine. And um, I'll put the name up here. Check out her work, it's amazing. So yeah, that was my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, enjoyed the video. Um, and if you are new here, um, welcome. And if you like this sort of kind of video, um, please like and subscribe, follow along. Like I said, I'm new, I'm still learning <laughs> how to do this. But, um, but yeah, um, I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. So, okay, bye.